So today we're actually not on the track, unfortunately. Um, I love a track session, but my coach told me not to run on the track today. So he's given me a session to do, interval session, fart leg session, 20 times 60 seconds with 30 seconds recovery in between. So that's 20 reps, 60 seconds, 10K effort. I'm gonna get started. So 2K warm up and I'll be right back. Bye. Warm up done. What's the name of the game now? What are, what are the, the name of the game is to go as many laps as I can before I die because I am tired and today was not a great, um, today's not a great morning, but right. it's going to be a great day once we finish with this session. What happened? I'm just never looking forward to speed work. I really don't like speed work. I'm, just give me ultras now. I fall in love with ultras and uh, that's all I want to do. It's funny but, because you're really, really fast. <laughs> And everyone, will think everyone says that. I'm not for guys. I was clinically obese as a kid. <laughs> Fast was never the aim of the game. I hated sports, but here I am. So when I started running, marathon was never a goal, anyways. But when I first started running, I, first 5k, amazing, happy days. I was like, you know what? Let me get a sub 25k. I think that'll be the end of my running career. As soon as I get sub 20, I'm gassed. Um, and then I got my sub 20, and I was like, ah, okay. What's my half marathon goal now? Um, and then I got. Uh, sub 90 mar half marathon. I was like, yes, happy days, cool. And then I was like, should I do a marathon? Yes, cool. I'll do a I'll do a marathon. Done a marathon, 3:32. I was like, eh, that's more than double my half. Can I get a sub three? And that was my final actual running goal. And I said, as soon as I get that, I'm hanging up my running shoes. I'm obviously not going to now. But sub three was like my last initial running goal that I had when I started running, which is insane. Because if I do get it, and you just don't see me again, then you know why. But if you do see me again. <laughs> It's, it's, because, it's because I really enjoyed it. But I don't think I want to get any faster than that. Like fast was never my thing. I just want to do more and more miles. So hopefully after the sub three, if I can, and believe me, it's not an easy goal. Like it's 415 splits for 42 kilometers. If you're talking about kilometers and it's like, 42.2. <laughs> yeah. After that, you let me know, guys. Would you want to see me attempt after this sub three marathon? Do you want to see me go for an ultra or do you want to see me train for a 245? <laughs> Please say ultra. <laughs> Quickly, it's 10K, 10K pace at 60 seconds. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, that was all right. It's getting tough. This is five. So I'm a quarter of the way there. Um, try and jog the recoveries. Don't stop. Stay in motion. Um, probably further down the line, I'm going to have to walk the recoveries, but five seconds left. Yeah, this is the first run, and they feel light. I can't remember if that was six or seven. I feel like it was seven. Yeah. Session yeah. Set it up as a so I know, I know. <laughs> it's fine. We move. It's the first time I'm running carbon plated shoes in like four months because I don't really train in them. I'm off again. Every time I see the track. It makes me just want to run on it. But listen, it's a coach. Best thing about getting a coach is I have someone told me accountability. Accountable. Best thing about getting a coach is I have someone told me accountable. I have someone that can structure my workout so I don't have to worry about it. And someone that's experienced in this that can understand my needs, especially when fasting. One more lap, let's go. The best thing about training while fasting though is that you can't get an upset stomach because it literally don't exist. There's barely any food in me. Ideally, the time I'd like to train if I am fasted is right before I break my fast or just a couple hours before because then you don't have to wait as long between breaking your fast and hydrating again. But because the sun is out, it's a beautiful day and filming schedules, we just got, we got to make do what we can. I'm currently about eight hours away from breaking my fast. Um, and that's okay. Some days you just gotta fit in training in where you can. It doesn't always have to be perfect training, but some training is better than no training.
Flap number 12. We've got eight more to go. Lovely eight. Let's go. Seven laps to go. As I was saying, I think before it felt like there's always, am I doing enough? Like, I am training, but I don't know because I've never gone there before. I've never been experienced enough to like train for many marathons. And getting a coach just kind of took the, the pressure off the day. So obviously still put the pressure on the training, but the pressure of the day is no longer there. I just know I need to get my sessions in and that should, in theory, get me to where I need to be come marathon day. Last bit of recovery before the last rep. Ah, that session flew by. I felt very quick. Good. Yeah, good session. Shoes held up. It's how always. How you going, as you know, mate? It's definitely higher. Don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely higher. And it's so interesting to see how shoes make such a big difference. And you're always worried when you're putting on a new pair of shoes and doing speed work straight away how it's going to feel. But it feel great. Last one. Last one. Thing is, 60 seconds doesn't feel like a lot of work at all. But once you're doing 20 reps of them, they slowly creep up. Definitely feeling it now, but that's it. I'm done. 2K recovery, and then I can get changed, go home, shower, freshen up. And I was gonna say eat, but I can't even eat. <laughs> and chill, nap. That is my session done. I feel amazing. I can't lie, my energy levels are now through the roof. I only have one session left this week, which is my longest run in the training plan so far. It's 36 Ks worth. And then after that, it's literally a taper. Hopefully, fingers crossed the taper until marathon day. And that's exactly when I'll see you. So please comment down below, wish me some luck, and I'll see you in about four weeks time.